Hey guys, so I am back. Back again. Um, with a well, it's my first time doing a Sephora haul, but Sephora. La la. I'm excited because I bought a lot of Rare Beauty. Um, Rare Beauty is by Selena Gomez. Um, I heard it was really good. I have not tried anything. I haven't opened anything. I'm excited. So before this video turns into forever long, let's just get started. Bye, chai juice. So the first thing I have says always an optimistic illuminating primer by Rare Beauty. See that? Hey, there you go. There you go. Sorry. For my weirdness. Mm -hmm. If I could just get this thing open, that would be great. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Why not? Pow, pow. Ooh, the packaging is so pretty. There's that. I don't know if you can. I'm just gonna. It's a pump, which I appreciate. Oh. It should. I should shake this or something. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I feel like that usually works. Wow, that's really pretty. It's definitely illuminating. And it's, my skin just soaked it up like a moisturizer. I keep looking at the freaking screen. Soaked it up like a moisturizer. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Cause it's like the camera, you know? It definitely has a, not, it's not a bad smell, but it's a weird smell. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I apologize. Next, I have the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. My color is 250W. Pretty sure it's a zero. If not, it's OW, but it's like ovally, so I think it's a zero. I'm gonna swatch that for y'all. The lady at Sephora swatched it for me. I mean, she put some, and you know, since there's COVID, she put like a little. Uh, no, it's not called this fully, but it's like the lip applicator. Ooh, this is cute. What that looks like. But uh, she got the lip applicator and she like gave it to me and I had to put it on my neck. And she put a bunch, like a bunch. So I put a little bit. I thought I put a little bit, but I pressed a little too hard and it was like everywhere. But you know, it's okay because it looked really nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, I need to shake this. I think the packaging is so pretty. Oh my God, there's there's stuff all over it. What is going on? What's going on? All right, try to swatch that for you. I'm gonna try to put it on my face so y'all can see them. You'll see that. Because I can't see that. I don't got a mirror. I should have brought my mirror. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go get my mirror. I think she color matched me really well. I know I'm applying it with my fingers, but like, yeah, I still think she color matched me really, really well. Wow, that looks really freaking pretty. And I barely put anything on there. Now I want to do my whole face because I really don't have any makeup on. <sighs> I'm just going to do half my face so I can see the difference. Even applying it with my finger, 
It looks really, really pretty. It's really natural. Can you see that? See that natural? The naturalness. So far, so far I like it. I should have put primer on that one side, but it still looks really good. This is the Brow Harmony Crayon and Gel Sorcels. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, like, please correct me. But I feel like it says Sorcels. Whatever, man. All right. I got it in the color Deep Brown. There was two darker shades in this, and they were really, really black. Like, really black. The second one was like brown with black, and the other one was like black, black. Like, very dark. Ooh. It's like a very structured drop shape, if you know what I mean. Which I like because then you can use the top to be more defined, or, can you see that? I know you can see that. Now I'm gonna do my brow. This is fully, I'm gonna take some of my product off just because I just, I just want the, the brush for now. You know, it's still gonna give it a little bit. I mean, I just have really hairy brows, so I have to like control the brow. I don't know what's be if it's because my brows, like my brow hairs, are really, really thick. So I don't know if it's because of that, but every time I like brush the um brows the, the product just like splatters on the top of my brow and it's it's okay because it can be cleaned up of course but like <laughs> come on man overall i like it my brow look if you can tell the difference my brow my brow next product that I bought from Rare Beauty, I got two blushes. No. No. Before you judge me. Okay. I couldn't decide. It was so hard. Okay. Like, it was really hard. And the lady swatched both of them on my hand. She barely swatched them, so it made it even harder. She legit, like, put nothing and I could barely see the color. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab both of them. So, I grabbed uh, Nearly Mauve, Nearly Mauve, and Nearly Neutral. It's so cute. It's like... Rare beauty. It's going to look like... And this is... Um, Nearly neutral. So this is like a more pinkier shade. I'm just gonna swatch those for you guys. That is so creamy. That feels so nice. It's very soft. It's very buildable. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna see if it's buildable or not. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very, very faint. Like right there. Sorry I got veiny ass hands, guys. <laughs> Put another layer on top. I can definitely see that, but I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. So. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's so Sorry. I 
can definitely see that. So that was Rare Beauty. I mean, no, that was uh, nearly neutral. So let's try nearly mauve. Yo, I'm sorry. My, I know my lips are chapped. I don't know if y'all can see that. They were more chopped earlier because I was outside. It's freezing out. Like, Massachusetts weather is insane. Like, it'll be warm one day and the next day it'll be freezing. The next day it'll be like spring. It's like, oh, spring is coming early this year. It's like nine degrees tomorrow. What a joke, man. Same cute packaging. I really like it. Super like I don't know. Rare. That was a funny crystal. That one you can see right away. I'm gonna give it another layer like I did the other one. Just so you can see the build up. So there's that. And I just realized I skipped the concealer. We're gonna do the concealer now. So the concealer is in the same color. Um, it's 250W. The packaging is pretty cute. It's pretty much the same, it's like the little, the little Bali is a bladder. See? So. I like that sound. Oh, the applicators. I like that. It has, it smells like paint. <laughs> it does, it smells like paint. But it's okay, because. If it's pretty, I don't wear it. I'm sorry, these are not from, uh, these are not from Sephora, these are from Target, but look how cute they are. I'm gonna go damp one. Alright, look at that. See the size difference? Get it, yep. now this is so big like this is crazy big wow let me just blend out all of it because like i didn't even I always fool around when I make videos and it's really annoying because I have to edit the crap out of them. <laughs> Alright, so let me just do it how I normally would do it. So that's it for Rare Beauty. Um, I did get a couple things that I are new to me. Um, this is the Tarte C Breezy Cream Bronzer. Um, I don't know why I caught my eye. Uh, I think it's just the blue. It's really, really, really pretty blue. I feel like it's just like too much light. It's too much light. There's too much light. It didn't come in any other color. <laughs> like this was literally the only one that was like the only color that was there. I don't know if it comes in another color, but these are seashells. Seychelles. I mean that's what it says on the top. It says S E Y C H E L L E S. Seychelles. This is the color. 
And I know that it looks really dark for my skin tone, but you'll see. It's a cream. I mean, I'm pretty sure I told you that already. Oh. That feels so nice. Alright. I'm gonna swatch it. I'm gonna swatch it. It comes on so soft, and then once it's on your skin, it feels like a powder. It doesn't feel like a cream. You know what I mean? So, that's like the first layer, just one. Like, it's really, really buildable. I'm sorry that the, like, lighting is crazy, because, like, I have the camera here, and it's, like, leaving a shadow every time I try to be closer, so I do apologize for that. Like, my point, it's buildable. Do one more. Yeah, so I think it's really pretty. I think it would be pretty on any skin tone, really. It just depends on how much you put on. So yeah, I feel like that's probably why it's just one color. I don't really know. I didn't really look into it. I was just at the store and I was like, oh, this is cute. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so the next thing I got is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Fly Pencil, long wear pen long wear pencil eyeliner the rest is in french i think so i'm not gonna read that yeah the packaging so cute which rihanna i mean oh yeah rihanna fenty beauty always has really cute freaking packaging wow that sounded really new Is that what you're supposed to do? Am I gonna break it? Because I'm doing that and nothing's happening. Oh, it's going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just gonna swatch it over here. Ooh! I wish I got to see that. Let me just. Just close it. This. Oh, I didn't even tell you the color. This is in, oh, in Big Truffle. That's the name. I don't get it. Here's that. Just an eyeliner, because I have a lot of eyeliners, but um, I didn't want to try a fancy one because I heard it was good. It is uh, water resistant or waterproof. One of those. Um, another thing I got from Fenty, I've already had this before, but I really like this one. They can't find it. I don't know what happened to it, so. It's this. Oh. It's this. <laughs> um, it's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Balm. Universal Lip Luminizer. This is a uh, glass slipper. It's absolutely clear. I'm gonna put some on. Oh yeah. Sorry. I'm weird. All right. So there's that. Next, um, I've never really bought anything from Huda Beauty. I know that you Beauty Huda Beauty is very popular um i got these lashes you know people do like the and they switch the guy the lashes what can i talk today um but these are the ones that i got they're called Gis giselle <laughs> that's my sister's middle name so this is these i feel like they're not too like in your face because i feel like if i wear lashes that are too big it's just not gonna look right you know so i stick to like neutral things um i also got their um uh, huda beauty sticky tacky lash glue yeah 
yeah. Latex free. I appreciate it. Kuda. I put on a uh, lash glue one time. My eyelids got swollen. Not like crazy swollen, but like they were pink. And I was not happy. But yeah, next. This is the... I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this um, brand, but I'm gonna say Ilia, Ilia. Um, it's this. If I'm saying it wrong, please correct me so I know. This is the After Midnight uh, Timeless Lash Mascara. Lift, lengthen, curl. Organic sea butter. Organic. Organic shea butter. And arginine. I think that's how you say that. So I didn't even see the packaging. This is really cute. I like it. It's like an off-white color. It's not actually white. It's like a crema. Like crema color. Color crema. And the letters are brown. I like earthy colors. But I wanna see the spoon because I've never seen it before. This is the spoolie. It was like a clump of it at the, at the end. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. But like it's like a comb at the top right here, and at the bottom it's like a a bunch of them but this one at the top is just one that's cool i'm excited to try that out i'm not gonna do it right now because it's od should i all right so i don't know if there's like a specific method to use this because of the, the way the brush is but i'm just gonna use the one that has a bunch of them I really like it. Let me get closer so you guys can see. It's all crazy because I have like my foundation on one side, but there's my lashes. So I feel like it's more for lengthening than volumizing because I already have pretty long natural lashes on its own. Um, at least I feel like I do. Um, so I always look for one that's gonna volumize and look, make it look like there's more lashes than there is. This one doesn't really do that, but it does darken them, which I like. Yo, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I have a bald spot on my lower lashes is like right here and I don't know why it's just no lashes will grow there none it's so annoying because I do my lashes and I have to like push these over here and push these over here to try to like cover the bald spot because like why does no hair grow there whatever anyways I have another product from Ilia Ilia Whatever it's called, please correct me. It is the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. Soothing, hydrating, hyaluronic acid and silicornia. Silicornia. Show them like that. Packaging is super cute. Watch that. The applicator, I don't like anything. This one's called Only You, which I like that. I think it's cute as heck, and it's really, really glossy. 
but on my hand it doesn't feel heavy so I don't know I will make a whole face with most of these products soon this is my last product this is a I don't exactly know if it's Shine On or Tower 28 because it has like, I don't know, here, look. So I've never heard of this before, like ever. Let's just open it up. I like the packaging. Cute. It is also a clear, but it has a pinkish tone to it. So it's not exactly a glass slipper. Does it even have a, this one's called Chill. Chill, I want you to see like, that it's like pinkish. Yeah, you can see it. the applicator and uh, I'm gonna take this fancy off okay here we go I don't know how long this will last on my lips hopefully it lasts a long time but I really like it you can see the pink once it's on your lips you can tell that it's not like the fancy glass slipper like it has tint to it it's not as heavy if you've tried a fancy um lip gloss you know that they're very thick not sticky but thick this is not it's not very sticky but it feels hydrating and it feels light i really like this and i just might go back for the other ones but I don't know yet. We shall see. We shall see. Well, yeah, that is everything, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking your time to watch my videos. Thanks, homie. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, what you would like to try now um let me know things that you've tried before and that you liked or what you didn't like um i want to see your feedback i want to hear your feedback um i want to know what you guys like and i want to know what you guys want to see so then i know what content to make so let me know in the comments below um thanks bye